the Mountaineers kick off Sun Belt Conference play at home against the South Alabama Jaguars. I'm Joshua Corman alongside Appalachian State head coach Angel Elderkin. Coach, your team finished the non-conference season with a 6-5 and five record. Talk about what the team accomplished during that time and what you really liked from them. I thought we did a good job of finishing basketball games. You know, we started out the season with several close ones. Um, Well, we actually opened up the season with two losses, and I thought our team bounced back, and then we were able to finish out some close ones. Then we kind of took that film and showed them, okay, here's how we can separate, here's how we can be better. And then I thought we executed that. Um, We obviously had some tough opponents in South Carolina and Clemson, and then we battled through some injuries. So, you know, we lost LaPresia for a little while, then we lost Tierra, and then during the game we lost Maddie. And so I, I just think that disrupted our flow a little bit, um, but we were able to come out with a winning record for the first time in a long time. Um, so I was really proud of that. And then now, you know, tonight starts a new season. We'll get to some of the injury updates a little bit later, but you had a long break for Christmas, and then the team came back. What did you really want to focus on during this lead-up to the conference play, and what areas of focus do you think need to be improved on from non-conference? We we spent a lot of time on our defense right away when we got back. Um, we we did like a little weight room circuit and some shooting, and then I kind of ramped it up a, a notch with them in terms of their defense. I just wanted a team that was more committed on the defensive side of the ball and understanding that the reason why we were able to separate in some games is because we were able to hold teams scoreless for six minutes. Um, I think I have a team that enjoys offense. Um, I'm a coach that enjoys offense, so I had to change my tone a little bit with them and make them understand that I'm just as passionate about our defense that I am our offense. Um, but with that being said, our last couple of practices, I was concerned because we weren't scoring the ball ball well, um, but I definitely believe I got their attention on the defensive side of the basketball. Now, let's go back to some of those injuries. Tierra Wilson didn't play the last two games. What's her status coming into tonight's game? She is back, um, and she'll be available. She'll be coming off the bench for us um, tonight. So hopefully, you know, she's 100%. I think just being out, just trying to get her conditioning. She's a shooter, um, so we need her to be able to come in and make shots. Um, But she's had a good week of practice, so I anticipate that she'll be 100% tonight. Now, like you mentioned, Maddie Story left the Clemson game early. What's her status tonight as well? Uh, Maddie is available. She's going to be starting. Um, She's going to give us everything she got. She is in a mask. Um, So, you know, will that disrupt her? Will it not? I think Maddie's tough enough and mentally tough enough and has practiced with it um, and won't be able to fight through any adversity that she faces tonight. And lastly, Kayla Craven has battled injuries all year long. Any updates on her status? Kayla Craven will not return for the remainder of the season. Um, We're in the process of trying to medically disqualify her. She has reached a point of not being able to play and not be able to be pain-free. So she is going to take a student assistant role with our team. You mentioned offensively from the non-conference season, the team struggled at points to score the ball and free throws were tremendously good at the beginning of the year and then fell off towards the end. Where can the team improve offensively? Are there any players you want to really focus on to get things going? Yeah, I think, number one, Bailey has to be able to finish at the free throw line. She's aware of it. You know, she comes in, we talk about where we are, and then she'll say, well, it's because I'm getting to the line more. This week when they got back, I had to make 500. She's probably made over 600. And every time a coach says, well, Bailey, you've – major 500 she says well I'm shooting 40 percent um the second player offensively is Lainey Gosnell I know we've talked about her several times she's getting a lot of open looks we're spending a lot of time on her shooting the basketball in hopes that we continue to spend the time and the shots are going to fall you're starting off conference play against an undefeated South Alabama team what have you told the team in general just the opportunity to face a team that has yet to experience a loss? Yeah, you know, we've talked about them being undefeated and then us being undefeated at home, but we've also kind of flipped the script a little bit in terms of when you start the Sun Belt, you're both undefeated. And so we've kind of been playing that and just talking to them about we haven't played too much of like South Alabama is super superior than us we've kind of gone back to our games last year where both of them were um, decided by three points or less and the job we were able to do on a savannah jones and the job we need to do tonight so it's much easier this season i'll tell you josh of coaching a team that they know who's coming into town um so they can relate to it but we just we're really focused on us and what we need to do in the sun belt this season do you think that facing record-wise the top two teams out of all the Sun Belt teams to start off the Sun Belt conference season is going to help your team down the stretch? 
Absolutely. We start with them and we finish with them. And I think it's going to kind of show us where we're at, you know, and in, in talking to the South Alabama coach today, even though they're undefeated, you know, he's still looking at this weekend as a measuring stick for him. So I think sometimes you can play the non-conference, um, but you won't really know where you're at until you get, you know, halfway through the Sunbelt season and, and face everybody. And finally, do you have any thoughts coming into tonight's matchup? You're undefeated at home, taking on one of the top teams in the Sun Belt. Just any final thoughts? You know, I want to see our team come out and uh, play with great energy. We've talked a lot about our energy. I think the first quarter could be rough. I think it could be rough for both teams. Um, but I hope no matter what, we stay resilient, we stay together, and we put up the best 40 minutes of basketball that we can tonight. Well, thank you, Coach, and we'll talk to you after the game. Thank you.